Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Andrew here, and today I have built an adding machine. A technically it's a binary adding machine on Minecraft. And I want to do a little bit of a showcase of it. It's it's kind of harder to explain everything on it because this took about Mm, about an hour for me to figure out everything and I, I had a little bit of uh, help with the concepts before I got started so I wanted to show you guys this thing and I wanted to say uh, I did it yay anyways so I'm gonna explain how this whole thing works in just a little bit but first I need to show you why certain pieces of them work and it all comes down to these things called gates and you'll see why in just a little bit I call this an AND gate. This is actually a technical real term. AND gate, XOR, OR gate. I think I made this one and that one up because I needed a name for it. Anyways, so basically what this is, is it's, it's figuring out if two currents go through, then the light should turn on. And this is actually extremely simple to make because I made it an A and B power. But if you have one on, it won't turn on or if you have the other one on it won't turn on or but if you do have both of them on it does turn on this is very simple you can use this in basically anything in minecraft you can use it as a key code you can use it as hey turn this lever and this lever to open my door etc etc and it's actually really cool how this all works all you need for it is a piston pushing out and pulling back on both of the currents and then you need a solid current that would be going through them and up. And I just use a light as an example. Um, in my case, I actually did use lights because it was a lot easier to figure out what I was doing after that point. But it, it turned pretty complex pretty quick and I'll show you exactly why. Next up, I have an OR gate. Now, I have an XOR gate right next to it, but I wanna go to the OR gate first because these gates are almost exactly identical except they have one difference, and the XOR gate is what I use, not just the OR gate. The OR gate, the way this works, is if one lever is on, the power turns on. If both of them are on, it stays on, because either one will turn it on. This is like an IF uh, sequence, if you ever do any coding. But, an XOR gate, you turn one on, it turns on, you turn two on, it turns off. Now I'm gonna go over the OR gate real quick for you. It's really simple, it just comes down. This power is on right here. It'll push in, go up. Same thing here, it comes down, pushes in here. This actually turns off because when you turn this on right here, turns this off, turning this on, turning on the light here. And it goes again. The problem is when you're doing an XOR gate, you don't want that to happen when you have two. So, let's say I have one come in here. It pushes through, this power is on, which turns on that. At the same point, it actually retracts this, and I'll show you why in just a little bit. Over here, though, if I turn this on, the power will come down. It'll turn off this switch and turn on this switch, come down here. And since this is retracted because the other power is on it'll turn off the light. This is really important in my design because it's actually the whole bottom half of it because without that, I couldn't, I couldn't make my design right. So I'm gonna show you a little bit more. Um, over here we have a sum and carry gate and if you have any ideas for using any of these things, by all means, pause the video, uh, look at my design. I will actually give you a full view right here. That's an and. That's an XOR, that's an OR, this is a summon carry, this is a summon carry out, I believe. I don't remember, remember what I named it. Anyways, this is a summon carry, and the B power, if I turn it on, it'll tell me I have one. If I turn on two though, it'll tell me I have two and turn off the first one, which is really, really nice. And this is kind of like a basic counter. Um, it doesn't count to 10 though, and I have no idea how hard that would be to actually count to 10. But the cool thing is, with this working the way it is, I have that XOR below, so it the XOR communicates with this one, which you saw everything too, but above it, I have an AND gate. So basically it's saying, is there one 
uh, current come through? And the answer is no, because there is two. So then it goes up here and says, is there two currents? Which what I did is I had the currents build upward right above it. And then I have my AND gate, which then comes across, goes over here, and turns this on, which is really, really nice. Now I'm thinking, you know, I can, I can do better. So what did I do? I had to make a carry in, carry out some gate. Basically the way this one works, and this is the entire design of my calculator, and I'll show you in just a little bit how it works. The carry in, carry out basically says, do I have one? Yes. Oh, a second. You saw nothing. <laughs> okay. Do I have one? Yes, I have one. Do I have two? Yes, I have two. Now, here's the, here's the tricky part. Because this is binary, do I have three? And in binary, you have one in the two digits and one in the one digits. So, this, I'm not going to actually show this one too, too much. It's pretty much the same as this. And then I built in a circuit that says, hey, what if this exists? Then does that happen? And it, it took a lot of work. Um, I'm not going to really show you how to do it because it's, it's really hard. Um, and it took me, you know, probably 45 minutes of the hour of me actually working on it. So turn that off, turn that off, turn, turn that. Are they all off? This one isn't off. Boop. Okay. So basically the way that works is that that extra little one is a carry gate. So it would be like, say I have one, there's one, and I have two, it goes to the next digit. But if I add another two, it actually goes to become four, even though this one isn't on. And that's because this one right here has this little piece right here that says, hey, we are carrying, so it comes from one, goes to two, and jumps over, and here we are in the second piece. It can actually carry from the very beginning all the way to the end, and I'll show you, because all I have to do is add one on every single one, and it just goes all the way through. I couldn't actually show that too well. And it comes to the 64 digit. So basically, it's 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 equals 64. And uh, if you guys don't understand binary, you can either look it up or I'll give you a short tutorial on it. All right, so here this is in the binary area. It is 1 in the 16th place plus 0 in the 8th place plus 4 in the 1's place. 1 in the 4's place, plus 1 in the 2's place, plus 1 in the 1's place. And that'll add up to be uh, 23, which is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 16, which equals 23. And if I want to show it here, i got to turn off everything here first. That's the only downside is it doesn't actually, you have to reset it every single time, which is kind of a pain, but, oops! I have a tendency to destroy things when I when I play this game. Which is kind of annoying because I'm I'm decent in the game until I start destroying everything. That's why I don't play in creative too much. Um, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna add this up. So we're gonna say one in the ones place, one in the twos place, one in the fours place, uh, skip the eights place, and one in the sixteenth place. As you can see I've marked these. I kind of forgot to mention that I marked them all. So this is twenty-three. Technically, it'd be one zero one one one. Now I don't know if you ever actually would use this in your world or what you would use it for. Um, I was trying to think on how to come up with a uh, a pin code, which I've kind of given up on for a second because it's a lot more complex than I thought it was going to be. But I want to be able to type in nine plus nine um, equals blah 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 but unfortunately it's not quite that simple and I just thought of a way I could fix that Ooh. nonetheless um, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a double thumbs up down below if you like what you see. If you want to see a tutorial on this, um, definitely give me a like and tell me in the comments down below if you want a slight tutorial. I'll show you the best I can. Um, I don't know if I'll actually be able to show you this one. Um, I'll give you a full view if you want a full view of it. Uh, just, I'll just keep going through here. Just pause the video and check it out as you go. Um, because it's not it's not impossible hard it's just more or less it has this as the bottom floor right here this is the bottom floor the second floor is this which I just show you right here and then the third floor is where it gets really complex because of this thing and that thing so if you guys want to check that out um, I, I highly suggest just pause and look at it that probably be your best way of actually figuring out and I will see you in the next video because I have a lot more stuff to do, like uh, figuring out everything else. Oh, I love this device. This is my favorite device I have ever made. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh! Oh! Try it! Try it! Fire! Ah! Ah! No! Shut the door! I'm on fire! Oh! You want you a piece of me? Hey, I'm gonna beat you! Good job, man. Cheesing. That's called. <laughs> oh, hey, who are you? Hi. Oh, I fell. Okay, well, that's okay.